Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video, I'll be talking about Pod Awful, and give you my thoughts about this channel, as well as the guy behind it, Chessy, no, not Chessy, <laughs> Jesse P.S. I hope you enjoy, or at least find this video informative, but first, a thank you to Benton Backhoven for suggesting the topic of this video. Don't believe I've ever done a blooper that early, folks. At least as far as I can remember. Now, for those who are unaware, Pod Awful is a live streaming channel, though it does also dabble in content creation on an occasional basis. Based in the United States of America, as far as I'm aware, headed by Jesse P.S. I wonder what the P.S. stands for. Who seems to be quite the youthful chap, folks who is most well known for talking about topics and people that he is interested in, such as, but not limited to, Mersh of Nightwave Radio, Alex Stein, or is it Stain? I don't remember. The Santa Cruz Joker, who's fucking mental, folks. Imagine if the Joker and the Penguin had a kid, and then the Penguin shot out the kid. That's the Santa Cruz Joker. As well as Gavin McGuinness, to name but a few. Now, personally, ladies and gentlemen, I was not really aware of Pod Awful prior to the suggestion of Benton Backhoven. Thanks again, by the way. So after doing a little bit of investigating, which mainly consists of internet browsing, as well as an analysis of social media, I have found Pod Awful to be a very funny, standalone live streaming show that is very informative to boot with a host that is undoubtedly, undoubtedly sharp, witty, as well as being completely and utterly unafraid to speak his mind, which is always good to see. Although he does have his critics, I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? Such critics uh, include Mersh and Royce of Revenge of the Sis, Hipstar and his crew, Ian Ellis LLC as well as his crew, Ethan Ralph, Dick Masterson, the fine folks over at Red Bar Radio, Mr. Metoku, I think that's how you pronounce it. Jesus, how many people is this guy pissed off? To name but a few. Anyway, as of the making of this video, folks, in August of 2022, Jesse P.S. has been active online since 2009, though I am unable to find any of his content older than early August 2021 on his YouTube channel, I wonder why that is the case. In any case, what cannot be denied is the amount of growth Pod Awful has had over the past year, from 648 subscribers in September of 2021 to 5,840 subscribers in August of 2022, that is according to Social Blade. So, with that information, I am convinced, ladies and gentlemen, that Jesse P.S. is a Marmite figure, adored and despised in equal measure. While I enjoy the content he has to offer, this guy has burned quite a few bridges in his time, folks, to his detriment, in all honesty, though I am sure that Pot Awful will get to at least 10,000 subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2022 and continue to grow for many more years to come, gaining friends and foes in equal measure. For that, we can only hope, ladies and gentlemen, because it's all so very entertaining, isn't it? <laughs> now on to the conclusion. Ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to wish Jesse and Pod Awful the best of luck in all of their future endeavors. For more on this guy, you can check him out on YouTube, where his show is. The link will be in the description down below. So what are you waiting for? Go subscribe to his channel, because I'm sure you will enjoy what Pod Awful has to offer, because I most certainly have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as all the bloopers that were within it. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Suggestions for videos like this one are always welcome in the comments section down below. So I'll end this video by wishing you all a great day. Until next time, folks, bye for now.